Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at Roll Camera, the cooperative game about filmmaking, created by Malachi Ray Rampin. In Roll Camera, you are creating a film. Your film will consist of five completed scenes. So we'll take a look first over here at the storyboard. These are available scenes to shoot. They each have a cost, but also require that you arrange the dice in a certain pattern in the center of the board but you can only place dice on blue locations. So you'll have to create set pieces. To create set pieces, you have to spend money and use your dice to place them. And that sounds easy enough, but if you've ever been around film or actors, you know that problems always arise. And you're working with both a limited amount of time and money. And just creating any old film won't cut it. You need to create a film that's of a certain quality, or so bad it's good. On your turn, you will flip over a problem card. You will then roll the dice, which can be assigned in a handful of ways. You can spend your dice to resolve a problem. You can spend your dice to place or rearrange set pieces, which you'll need to do to shoot scenes. You can share ideas, action cards that will give you bonuses. Each player has a unique player board, letting you take additional actions. You can also hire an intern, letting you change the value of another die to any face, but you'll also have to flip another problem card. Interns always cause problems. And the most important thing you'll be doing with the dice is placing them on these set pieces you've placed, completing the scene objectives, and working your way to victory. At the end of every player's turn, dial down the schedule by one. If you ever run out of time or money, you've lost. But if you've successfully shot five scenes, and your quality is good enough, or so bad it's good, you win! I feel like so many games get reviews that the theme is just pasted on. And there's nothing further from the truth here. The theme and the mechanics really go hand in hand. And I'm not just talking about loosey-goosey, I'm talking about interlocking fingers, canoodling. Hand canoodling? Does that make sense? <laughs> you just made everyone so uncomfortable. At any rate, the theme and mechanics go perfectly together. Hire an intern? Get a problem. Perfect. The longer you leave a problem before resolving it, the more difficult it gets to resolve. There's a perfect life lesson for you. My next thought is that this game is really, really funny. It straddles that perfect line between being too silly and also just being so dry that the game is just purely mechanics. I'll share a few examples. Uh, two of my favorite problem cards. The sound person needs complete silence so they can record room tone. Only the player whose turn it is may speak. All other players must remain completely silent. It works really well in the game because you actually want to be able to discuss. Another problem is the actors have decided that their characters would only speak in whispers. You need an additional sound to re for a scene. It works mechanically, it works thematically, uh, it makes the game really fun. There are objective cards throughout the game. Um, they're the script cards. So, for example, this card will give you three stars if you have a green in the first or fifth slot of your scenes you create. There are two objectives, a top and bottom half of the script, that can change throughout the game. And the really funny part comes in the words shown on the script. They buried Grandma. Hooray for Grandma. Hooray for Unibrows. Mechanically, it does nothing for the game, but thematically, man, I had a really fun time looking through all these cards and making silly combinations. The production on this game is top notch. The box is a clapboard. The game tray's insert is a film reel. The budget and production dial has a built-in difficulty meter on the back, helping you set up the game. The front of it shows what to do on your turn. This game is designed with theme and user experience in mind, which is more than I can say about lots of other games. And so far we've talked about almost everything except for the actual gameplay. Most cooperative games will have the players take a turn and then the board will take a turn in between attacking or adjusting things. The equivalent here is flipping a problem card. But that is a step above lots of other cooperative games that have you moving pieces on and off and around the board. That gets a little bit cumbersome. This is really quick and smooth between players' turns. 
Another major issue with cooperative games is an alpha gamer who's going to tell everyone exactly what they should do on their turn. And that can, of course, still happen in this game. The way that it's mitigated is through idea cards. One of the spaces you could place your dice is right here. It allows players to share one of their idea or action cards. So each player will lay one of their action cards, and as a team, you get to select which action card to actually activate. But you can't tell other players what your cards say. You can say, hey, I have a really good idea, I think it would be a good time to have a meeting. But you can never share exactly what your cards are, so all players can get involved in that way based off of what their idea cards are. On to the cons. I don't really have any major qualms with this game. The theme is great, the production's great, the gameplay's really solid. My only complaint would be that if you completely stripped the theme away from this game, it might be a little bit more forgettable. But it has the theme, and it, it's a fun theme, it's very entertaining, it's very humorous, and I think the production is so good, I think it's a really solid game. So if you're someone that plays a game solely for the mechanics, this may not be the first game that I recommend. But if you're someone who would like an immersive experience that will probably induce a lot of laughter, I highly recommend Roll Camera. And there are some tight decisions. This isn't an easy breezy kind of cooperative game. My wife and I were down to the last dial on both schedule and time. Talk about pins and needles. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. And talking of films today, of all of Christopher Nolan's films, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.